What's up, bros? It's Ash, and bringing you some Search and Destroy on Black Ops, uh, using the Scorpion, because honestly, like I said last video, people are starting to play like gigantic faggots, so it's pretty much impossible to get sniper gameplay at this point. Um, we played for... Oh, that guy got crapped on. <laughs> we played for, I don't know, four or five hours last night, and I didn't get a single breakout awesome game with a sniper rifle. So, yeah. I got two gameplays, but they weren't with a sniper rifle. And they weren't with try-hard weapons either, because I'm not gay like that. But, uh, I think what I'm going to talk, talk about today are some random things that I hate. There's a lot of things I hate, and honestly, as I tell you some of them, I'll probably think of other things I hate. So this could, uh, this might fill up the whole commentary, so I hope it does. Um, so one thing I hate is when... You're coming up on a stoplight, and there's a turn lane that can go straight and turn right, and there's a turn lane that goes straight, and then everybody in the lane that can turn right is turning right, except the D-bag in the front, just because he wanted to pass all those other people They were in the other lane that's going straight. That makes me so fucking mad. Like, you're the one, the, you, the one guy, you're holding up our entire row of people. All of us could already be gone and on our way already, but you're blocking us, and God, oh, I hate you. I hate you. If you're that guy, go die. Um, another thing I really hate, and this one I really hate for a number of reasons, and I'm sure some of you will agree with me, is I hate when 16 to 18 year old girls have a vehicle that is brand fucking new. That pisses me off so bad. Because what did you do to deserve a brand new car? You didn't do anything. I don't care what you've done in your life. You didn't earn $20,000. And I don't care how rich mommy and daddy are. If you can justify asking them for a $20,000 car, you're, there's something fucking wrong with you. Like, who, in, who would have the gall to ask for a $20,000 car from their parents? A fucking asshole. That's right, I fucking said it. So all you little girls, and there's probably none watching, watching this, but all the little girls you've seen that drive a brand new Mustang or a brand new BMW, yeah, they can go fuck themselves. And I know you guys will probably agree with me. Because everybody's car, everybody's first car, should honestly be average. Like, either an average car or a piece of shit. My first car is a piece of shit. My first car was a 1992 Honda Accord that we bought for like $600. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because you know what? Your first car, guess what you're going to do? You're going to wreck it. You're going to hit somebody. You're going to hit something. More than likely, you're going to total it. So why would you waste $20,000 on your stupid little bitch kid? Just because she whined and begged and moaned until she got that fucking car. Why would you do that to yourself? You just put yourself in, you know, that much debt. What I mean, you know, if they had the money, what to do for them? But still, you wasted that money because essentially it's going to be destroyed. And I didn't see that guy standing in the spawn right there. Am I retarded? Wow. I just saw him now, in retrospect. That kind of sucks. But, you know, you could get an average car, like, let's say a relatively new, like, semi-new Honda, and save your parents the money. Just save your parents the money. I mean, come on. The other day, I was coming home from work, and I saw a dude that goes to my high school now. He's driving a Hummer. A 16-year-old kid driving a Hummer. You've got to be fucking shitting me. Not only did that car cost them probably way more than $20,000, It the gas bill alone on that's got to be like $500 a month. Like, what the fuck? How does that make any sense to anyone? And I'll, I will never understand that. At, at all. Ever. Something else I hate, as a person who's played music for half their life, yeah, I played music for half my life, literally, um, I hate when someone says, oh, music is my life, I, I, all I do is music, just, just, music is everything to me. Oh, really? What instruments do you play? Oh, I don't play any instruments. Then how is music your fucking life? Just because you listen to Kid Cudi and Lil Wayne all day, does it make music your life? I mean, I'm not saying you have to be a virtuoso pianist, but fuck. If you can't play anything, if you can't read music, if you... I mean, singing is totally different because 
sometimes you there are just people who can sing. I'm not one of those people, but you can just sing. It doesn't take a lot of work for everyone. Certain people are just talented, and they get that. But that still doesn't make music your life. If every day... If you play if played an instrument for 10 years, and every day you still play it for hours, and not only that, but you do listen to music literally all the time, then you can probably say music is your life. I am one of those people. I play my guitar every day. I play trumpet for 10 years. So, yeah, I can... I probably have a little bit of, uh claim to the to that saying that music is my life and uh honestly there are some people who were probably in band in college who would dispute me and say well you weren't band in college you know your band obviously or music obviously isn't your life well music or playing in a band in, in band in college is a waste of your fucking time 40 50 hours a week and you don't get jack shit for it like, you're working your ass off, and you don't get anything. You, and for, for one thing, you can't have a job while, you do, while you, you're while you in band, pretty much, because your job is to be in band at this point. Because you spend 90% of your time either practicing the music for it or actually going to practice. So, yeah, all you people who think music is your life, you piss me off. Because it's not just because you listen to rap all day doesn't make it your life. Sorry. Um, what else do I hate? What's something else? Um, I hate when I find a little kid. There's another ghost guy, and I missed him again. He's been AFK this whole time? God! How did I not see that last night? God, that's awful, guys. That's, just, like, really bad. Okay, I, I hate when I see a little kid on Xbox Live, and he's, like, 10, and he's playing this game or any other Call of Duty game. It says 17 plus on it for a reason, and you want and you and these people go on other like YouTubers channels and say like, oh, you're the reason my kid cusses, and you're the reason my kid, uh, you know, plays all these games where there's killing in it and whatnot. No, they play the game because you bought it for them, and they swear and they have a dirty foul mouth because. They play these games and they interact with people who are way older than them that use those words and talk like that. It's your fault. Don't try to blame... God, I, can, I could probably do a spiel about video games all day. Don't try to blame what your kid does on video games. You bought him the video game. It is your fault 100%. Go fuck yourself if you try to pass the blame off on video games. If you're any if your kid is anything like me, I play video games because it's a form of escapism and I don't want to I want to have a distraction from the things that I dislike about my life. If and if you want your kid's going to play the game all the time because it's a form of escapism. And if you buy him a game that has killing in it and swearing in it and drugs and alcohol and sex guess what that's gonna get into their head that's gonna become a part of their everyday life because they're playing that game every day think about that before you buy your kid a game and i know no adults are watching this but shit i mean come on be a parent take the blame you guys have an awesome day i'll catch you later